Hi, this is Jitesh Satyan. WhatsApp number plus 919656611829. This short talk is on showing how Shat Karmas can be done as a Satvik Karma. This is just a point of view. Feel free to reject if you find it unacceptable. Marana, Shatru Samhara, Vashigaran are all considered nowadays as black magic. It is quite common to see some of the popular energy forms like Kali, Tara, Chinnamasta being used to inflict harm on others. The first point to be understood is that every act has a positive and negative side to it. If you are taking a medicine to recover from a disease, you are performing Samhara of so many germs. When you get a promotion at work, someone else just missed a slot for promotion. So what is good for someone? would turn out to be bad for someone else. This is the basic concept to be understood in Hinduism. There is no good deity and bad deity. Shiva walks with Pudaganas or demons in the western sense or demons in the western sense. It is not the energy form that is uh, good or bad but the way that the energy form is used that makes it good or bad from the point of view of the person who is doing it. So the focus point is what you think and what you do and how it impacts you. For this reason, many perform only the Shanti Karma and avoid other Shat Karmas. However, I believe all Shat Karmas can be done as Satvik Karmas so that the Tantric is not impacted by the karmic burden. I usually avoid Pujas where someone wants to do something that involves harm to someone else. However, one day I was doing puja in a Kali temple which had Shatru Samhara as one of the puja and one lady took a receipt to get it done. Uh, she just wanted her daughter to win in a school competition for which a Bhagya Suktam or some other Satvik puja could have been fine. Anyway, I was left with no option and uh, sat with the receipt looking at the deity requesting her for some guidance. I tried calling my friends uh, who asked me to avoid doing it but uh, since the lady paid extra to perform the puja, I was reluctant to do something else which could have costed her much less. The response I got in my mind on requesting the goddess for help was that all chat karmas can be performed as shanti or sattvic karmas. This is how I understood it. When Shatu Samhara is to be done is what needs to be done. Give the bhavana to remove the enmity between the two people. When there is no enmity, there is no enemy. So by removing the enmity, the enemy is removed. The sasasamhara happens automatically by removal of the enmity. It could be by they becoming friends or one person deciding not to be involved or one person moving out to some other place or whatever be the course which nature decides. So the bhavana is so that they will become friends. The shatru samhara is done by the shatruda getting removed. As the pujari, the bhavana is changed from destroying the enemy to destroying the enmity. So it is changing the negativity to positivity and not to cause negative on a person. That lady's daughter did win the competition, which she informed by coming the same day in the evening, all due to grace of the goddess. So if you agree to the message, then all credits goes to goddess Kali in the temple for uh, informing me on um, performing it as a sattvic karma. And if you feel that Shat Karmas cannot be done as Satvik Karmas by changing it to a Satvik Bhavana and leaving the, leaving the results to the course of nature on how it needs to be executed, then uh, the fault for uh, uh, making up uh, such, a, such an unreasonable understanding is uh, fully on me. Um, again, I wanted to add one more thing. So there is a difference between... Uh, the uh, Shetra Chaitanya as well as uh, Chaitanya which gets invoked when you uh, do a puja. 
So um, uh, since I specifically called out a goddess Kali in that specific temple. So the reason being that uh, whenever you do, you do a puja to Durga, um, let's say 50 other people are also doing Durga puja and invoking the goddess. Then at the same time, all of the person who is trying to invoke the goddess gets the uh, uh, power of a goddess Durga invoked into their puja. However, that's uh, uh, the Chaitanya of the goddess which can be um, which uh, can be invoked for puja purposes. This is uh, quite different from uh, Kshetra Chaitanya which is uh, concentrated energy which is focused at a specific point in that temple. Uh, this is uh, something to be remembered uh, whenever you are trying to uh, uh, trying to uh, remove some uh, uh, some doshas or when you are trying to do some remedies. So there is a difference between uh, trying to do it in a temple versus uh, trying to do the puja at, uh, at some other place. Thanks for listening.